According to the head engineer attached to the New Amsterdam Mayan Town Council, a sea defense dam will be built from the Kanji Bridge to Lot 60 Stanley Town. More details from Sasha Ramsaran. In previous years, there have been instances where the waterside road in Stanley Town would experience flooding due to the overtopping of the Burbese River during high tides or periods of excessive rainfall. This would result in the flooding of several streets in the Stanley Town area. As such, the Civil Defense Commission, CDC, has proposed to build up a sea defense dam that will run from Kanji Bridge to Lot 6 to Stanley Town. This was revealed by Mr. Charles Johnson, acting town engineer attached to the New Amsterdam Mayor and Town Council. That is actually the sea dam. And I know they had a project out. Normally the government would maintain that every year. And I think the entire link, um, starting from under the Kanji Bridge straight up to 60 stand on that stack turn, that entire part, the entire dam was redone. I'm not sure, but I think um, that was a, a special project that would come from the government. Because it, I, I'm not sure which ministry would be responsible, but normally the government would maintain that once a year. He further said, It's actually sea defense, um, you know, uh, the, um, um, sea defense basically I think is on the drainage and irrigation authority, they would actually deal with that. Because anytime the dam breaches the entire town would flood. So they from time to time would actually work on um, you know maintaining that dam. And uh, I remember in December we had a problem at the Cocoa where we had a major breach. As we speak the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, they're actually working to um, revet that entire area. Because they're they're currently camped out at, at back of town they're dealing with that situation. With the erection of a proper sea defense dam, the occurrence of flooding due to high tides and other factors is expected to reduce significantly. Sasha Ramsuan reporting for Channel 8 News.